Justin, when you've been agonising over a jigsaw and the final piece is missing. Infuriating, and it always happens to me. Every time I do a jigsaw, I always lose a couple of pieces. Well, here you are. Hopefully, it won't happen to the Queen, to who's going to look down the back of the throne, hopefully not, for any lost bits of a £40,000 piece jigsaw that's being hand-cut in her honour in Weymouth. John Henderson has been to find out more. In almost 50 years, he's cut five million jigsaw pieces. But this one is special. It's for the Queen. You'll probably think I'm mad. But, and she might well be right, but um, I think I'll enjoy oh, it. His latest challenge could also be a world beater. A 40,000 piece hand cut jigsaw inspired by last year's Diamond Jubilee celebrations using pictures taken by loyal subjects. Um, I never expected it to be picked up and I didn't know until this morning, so I thought I'd come down and when I arrived I was actually being cut up. I was at the Diamond Jubilee flotilla and I sent in a few of the pictures, I think I sent in four or five. The Queen will see it. <laughs> I have seen her and now she will see my work. <laughs> There'll be 33 pictures making up the giant jigsaw that'll go on show at Sandringham later in the year. It's Dave's legacy. The puzzle's going to be so big, it's going to last forever, so the, my puzzle with the Queen in it will be there forever. It may well look something like this. Quick shot for the That's world's it. press. You look like you're smiling, but I can't tell. <laughs> well... Then it's back to work. Dave, ably assisted, with an EX30 Excalibur scroll saw. Mind those fingers. And if the Queen ever loses a piece... That's yeah, all right, I can make her a new piece if she does. John Henderson, BBC Spotlight, Weymouth.